Hi guys, welcome back. If any of you watched my last video, my last acrylic pour video, you may have realised that I had, I went a bit crazy. <laughs> the reaction of it, it was just so random that I just decided to, well I forgot about it for a week to be honest. And then I came back and I saw it and after it dried and I was like, oh my god, I need to do another one of them. But this time, instead of doing a flip cup, I'm doing a tree ring pour. I don't know if it's going to have the same effect because it's not all going to come out at once. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to be using exactly the same colours again. I'll try and put it in the same order as much as I can. I'm going to go straight in with the white first. the end of this now. As always, nice and easy. Kind of gone off <laughs> the earth area.
always struggle with corners. <laughs> Well, that is definitely a spectacle. <laughs> I would have liked there to be, have been a bit more clearer pigmentation, especially when it comes to the warmer colours, i.e. the orange. Comparing this to the last, last time, there is a lot of separation, but you can clearly see all the marks and lines and tree rings all the way around the pore. There was this slight issue with the fact that I ran out of white, so that might be down to the fact that you can't see much white in here, but you could see it whilst I was doing the true ring pour. But I really like this. It's completely different and new. It reminds me a lot rotting wood, I want to say. It is rather grey, which is rather strange. Maybe the white and the black intertwined a bit too much, should we say? For this pour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and don't forget to comment down below if you would like to say hello. Bye guys!